Today, we're going to learn about an artist named Alma Thomas. Alma Thomas was a painter who was born in 1891. She really liked to make paintings that used a lot of different shapes and colors and showed rhythm. Alma Thomas was a black woman in a field where there were mostly men working. She also worked as an art teacher and didn't even start making her own paintings until she was in her 60s after she retired. Some artists tell stories by making pictures of things that we can easily recognize and understand. But Alma Thomas liked to make her artwork abstract. That means she just used shapes and colors and patterns. What makes art like this so wonderful is that everyone gets to decide for themselves what they think the picture is about. When you look at her different pictures, you can see the shapes that she liked to use, the colors that she liked to use, and the patterns that she made. She sometimes worked in circles. Sometimes she did pictures that were lines. Sometimes she used a lot of different colors. Sometimes she made patterns with her colors. But she really liked to make little dots or dashes over and over and over again to make one big picture. For our art project, you're going to go to Seesaw, find the activity about Alma Thomas, click Add Response, and choose Drawing. You can do the different size on the pen tool by clicking on it to change it. You can change the colors over here on the color bar. And then you're just going to start making dots. Or you could do little dashes. I'm going to start with dots right here. And I'm just going to do a line of red dots going all the way down. I'm going to make a pattern. I'm going to do a second row. Two red ones. Oh, I kind of left some gaps. I'm going to fill those in. There we go. Keep going. Now that I've done two with red, I'm going to switch to kind of a reddish orange color. And I'm going to do two more. You know what? Maybe instead of a pattern, I'm going to make a rainbow. I'm going to start working on a rainbow over here. So here's this one. I have to do two. And I'm going to go all the way up right next to my other one. Now I'm going to do kind of an orangish color. And I'm just making little dots. All I have to do is click, 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 click over and over and over again, just like in her pictures. If you wanted to do this on paper with crayons or markers or maybe even paint if you have it, that's absolutely fine. Then you can just take a picture of it instead. I'm going to get a yellowish orange color next. And like I was saying, these are just dots. I'm just tapping. But if you wanted to, you could do dashes and you just click and drag a little bit just to make them a little bit longer. You could make them different sizes. You could still add in dots. We are just making a work of art inspired by Alma Thomas. So it's completely up to you how you make yours. I'm going on with my rainbow. So I'm on to yellow. I'm back to making some dots. I think I'm going to do dots and dashes just to kind of make it look a little different so it's not all the same. On to a yellow green color few more dashes in here. I think I'm going to make some dots again. And you could even make your dots bigger because there's different sizes you could pick. You could switch the colors up in each line. You don't have to stick with the same color while you're doing a line. Dots, dashes, different sizes. kind of doing both now. Just getting that space filled up. Do some more dashes. Getting on to the blue here. The very last color after blue in the rainbow is going to be purple. I'm going to make some good dashes here. 
So I could go on to purple and I could do that one. But I think I'm also going to just show you some other ways you could do it. I'm going to make a big dot in the middle and I'm going to go smaller and I'm going to do smaller dots around it in a circle. That's one thing that she did. She started off with circles and kept going circles around her circles. You could do just dots since it's a circle and the dot is a circle. You could just keep going around with circles, but you could also come in and do kind of like dashes around the circle. It's your artwork, so you get to be creative with how you do it. Another thing you could do is kind of dot and dash, just like we did with the lines, the straight lines. These are still lines. They're just lines that go in a curve all the way around until they make a circle. You can also go over here to shapes. I'm going to grab this heart right here, move it down to my empty spot, and I'm going to switch colors back to my marker and I'm just going to dot around the heart. So you could pick a shape and do dots around the shapes too to make your picture. When you're all finished, you hit the green check mark to send it to me. I can't wait to see what you guys make.